Hi beautiful people, happy Thursday. I hope you guys are doing well. It seems as though the other crystal ball is wrong again and proves that her reporting is not only sloppy but biased because clearly she fails to do her due diligence and this is a person that prides themselves on being a reporter. And a huge thank you to Balls 2.0 on Instagram and also Joanne Cochran on YouTube for these screenshots. I'll actually have their handles listed below. Let's discuss. She made a post a few weeks back where she stated, Christy Blanchard and I have been friends for almost five years. Our relationship is not just about Gypsy. We have developed a connection that has surpassed her being a source. Many people have been trying to state that I don't know Christy or Gypsy Blanchard. That's false. I am not a yes person to either of them. When I have concerns, I express them as a friend. If you'd like to read that post in its entirety, just pause and read. Then she also includes a message from Christy Blanchard. Heidi from Without a Crystal Ball is a close friend of mine. Our friendship is not solely based on Gypsy. We have formed a really close bond and I'm proud to call her a friend. So to the public who are saying that Katie is not a friend to me is absolutely false. She has been a voice for me for many years. And how many other people have been voices for you, Christy? Anyways, she even has a close relationship with Gypsy as well. I also want to say, I just don't think of Katie as a friend. I think of her as family. Yesterday, Katie posted, Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Ryan Anderson's divorce is becoming messy in the media. And there appears to be some sloppy reporting based upon the facts of the court filings. There are salacious headlines about temporary orders of protection being filed by both Gypsy and Ryan. Here are the facts and screenshots of her petition for divorce. Number one, there is no temporary restraining order in place related to allegations of abuse or domestic violence by either party. Two, Gypsy Rose Blanchett sought a standard financial TRO that is placed in most divorce proceedings in Louisiana. Her attorney sought a joint TRO that would bar the both of them from alienating, encumbering, or disposing of their joint assets. Number three, the TRO is in place to ensure the money they earn together while married remains untouched during the proceedings. Four, this request also seeks to keep all financial records, employment contracts, trade secrets, and employment information and private conversations from public inspection. Gypsy and Ryan are jointly bound by NDA by lifetime about their employment and participation on the show. Therefore, this request is standard for their protection to not violate the terms with lifetime. Five, Ryan has not filed a single document in the case. He has not had any attorney enter on his behalf either. Number six, the court granted the joint TRO that Gypsy requested for both of them. Number seven, Gypsy is seeking a divorce and spousal support. She claims that Ryan is at fault for the divorce. Eight, Ryan is now running to tabloids to make it seem like he is not at fault. He should be handling this in the court versus online. That's rich coming from you, Katie Joy. Number nine. TMZ confirmed today that their source close to Gypsy is someone connected to Ryan. Ryan is publicly blaming Gypsy for the divorce. Again, he should be hiring an attorney and handling this in court. Ten. Neither party is restrained for domestic violence. And as you can see, she says Ryan Anderson did not file a temporary restraining order against Gypsy. So Katie Joy, you seem to be the fixer because it was all well and good for Gypsy to be hand in hand with her ex after just being separated from her husband for two weeks. And then him being blindsided, and I'm talking about Ryan, finding out about the divorce. This sloppy reporting that you speak about in regard to the tabloids, do you think that these tabloids do what you do? And that is just report on shit that they conclude off of social media postings. No, Katie Joy. Gypsy herself has given these tabloid statements. And she has also given permission to people to speak to these tabloids. So why are you also jumping on the bandwagon of making Ryan out to be the bad guy? And also, what is this, Katie Joy? Isn't this a filing from Ryan? against Gypsy. Obviously, you didn't do your due diligence. Or did your source, Christy, say that there's no such filing? And you just took her word and ran with it. I thought you're not the yes man. And it seems as though Gypsy is the one that's letting people know all the faults she found in Ryan to be the cause of her wanting a divorce. 
and in my opinion it's become a smear campaign against Ryan. And it also seems as though she feels entitled to the portion of his money that they earn together. We have no problem stating that you knew what was going on in their marriage well before anyone else knew and you did not divulge anything out of respect for the family. And clearly you're coming after Ryan because he is defending his name. Gypsy and whomever else that she is giving permission to leak these stories is dragging his name and he's not entitled to defend himself maybe you should continue to just being the family friend and not the fixer because you are failing miserably at reporting your so-called facts and last but not least as you stated katie joy and i quote regardless of all this i can be extremely honest with christy anytime something is bothering me she almost has the exact same concerns as me end quote so as Gypsy's recent actions in regard to her moving on so quickly after a separation from her husband not a concern to you because it is to everyone else and how she is handling her separation is that not a concern to you Katie Joy because here you are making excuses for Gypsy and her family and dragging another man down to portray Gypsy in a positive light maybe you and Christy should put your heads together and guide Gypsy in the right direction show her the right way to do things be there in a positive way for her and not by jumping on a bandwagon trying to bring another man down that's it guys thank you so much for listening i appreciate each and every one of you have a fantastic rest of your day please be safe out there be kind to one another and don't forget make good memories bye guys